learning about things like that. You do look at that up, because I'm going to get like right up in there. All right, here we go. Start the circle. Point the blade away from your arm. Back stance. You don't have to do the step, but you can. Stab over your head. Grab. Pulling down in a front stance. And then you're going to come up. Do like a ribbon sh uh, shape. Do the ribbon shape backwards, but you're going to jump and spin. Landing in a front stance. Step up. Blocking. The sword should point forward. Straight down. Turn your right hand over, do the reverse trick. Look over your left shoulder in a front stance, pull up. Circle your right hand down. Put your hand along the spine of the blade. Step up. Turn your right hand, both hands reverse grip, pulling down. Then we're gonna lift it up to a back stance, turning my right hand over. Put the guard right around your cheek and jawbone, right in between there. Stepping back, one, Two, up on the toes. This is a great time to fix this if it's falling out. Step up with your right foot. Left foot, cut. Step up with your right foot only. Front stance, cut. Left foot, right foot, straight down. Turn, you do not switch grip on this one. Turn your left foot into a front stance, lift up. Right foot together, pull down. Two hands on the sword during this right here. Left hand. Grab the uh, sheath, look to my left, step back on an angle. This, uh, this next two strikes are gonna go behind my head, but I'm going this way. Look to my right, this way. That should make a V. Step up, stab in a front stance. This next part, the right foot should move, left foot just pivots. Look up, down. Now fast, it looks like this. Left foot is going to lay it all the way up there. Probably around, four dollar small, right? Step up, lift the right hand, left hand stops at the shoulder, it's kind of used a flick here. Turn your hand around, pull it down with both, but don't shift your stance. Let it rest on your leg here. Make sure the blade does not touch. It's about a finger's worth off of my leg there. Grab with fingers and thumb here, not the whole hand. Grab your sheath, clean off half the weapon, flick between up the rest, putting it away nice and slow. Make sure you slide it up, pull it back. I take my hand up and around, but you don't have to do that, just turn it over. Getting out of the way, going over, turn your weapon, step in and up and then fix this as you do that cut. We're gonna come down, basically a figure eight. It blocks there, flips over, over my head as I do my step, step, cut. And this hand's gonna be up. So faster, that full motion from the time we pull it out looks like this. One, two. Flip it, one, two, cut. Bring in my right leg up, block, skip, Step. I'm going to pull with my left hand, push with my right to clean off the weapon. Grab here. Pull it up. Putting it away. Again, nice and slow. Anytime you put it away, do it slow. Stepping back with our right leg into a back stance, or sorry, left leg. Back stance. You're pulling your weapon away, hitting this person with the back of your hand. Rear back stance facing this direction. Push, but I'm still looking here. Circle, push down. Lift the whole thing up slow. You're gonna pull this out fast as you push this down. Stepping forward, pushing slow, stabbing through their knee. Stepping back, like we did that clean earlier, cleaning it off. Figure eight, so it starts with a block. Figure eight here, one more time. There. Jump up, circle around your head. Cut in a front stance. Turn your right hand over. Take your left hand, you're gonna clean here, sword. Switch your feet to make sure you stay around the middle of the ring. Flick. Put 
put it away facing the front and fix your hand again. That's the whole point. That was exactly